They say that greatness is not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice. Over my dead body, will the gardens be torn down by this fascist in suspenders? Oh, I taught you a lesson. I need you to vote against him on this. You know I can't do that. Don't make me play this card. We have a deal. We got a new one. You know, we were just talking about Chicago politics real with uh, the mystery surrounding Jesse Jackson Jr. and the press horde today and uh, in a Twitter and Twitter in a Twitter about his whereabouts and what's going on and the rumors flying around on Capitol Hill and here. Uh, and that's that's the way it is in reality. But uh, in in fiction. The greatest work about Chicago politics I've seen on television so far, by far, is Boss, the television show starring Kelsey Grammer and mm-hmm. Troy Garrity, who's in the studio with us right now. They are just finishing up shooting up the second season here. And like a lot of shows that uh, now exist in the cable universe and in the pay cable universe, you know, they do 13 episodes and they're out and then they go away for three or four years and they come back and they, you know, they, they, they dribble out 13 more for you and you just can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Luckily, we're not going to have to wait that long. The next season's coming up in just a couple of weeks here. August 17th. They moved it up, actually. It was originally going to be a couple months later, but it's like, let's let's jump on this thing while it's hot. Yes. It show, congratulations. Thank this you show so much. Is unbelievable. And if people are not familiar, Troy is the, uh, is the, the erstwhile reporter, the guy who uh, has to He's a his- muckraker is what he is. Yeah, okay. I am the muckraker. <laughs> I am the Mike Royko, the John Cass. That's the Richard I- Roper. I the would, Richard I would, Roper. I'd say there the Richard go. Roper of, of, uh, of, of whatever the, your news enterprise is, and that seems to be changing, and I don't want to give too much <laughs> away uh, about this. But we, it, this is, you know, we, we're, we're so used to seeing... Uh, and I think specifically when, when you look at Kelsey Grammer, you know, people think of him, their mind ties, Frasier. Or worse yet, was it Up Periscope? What was it, that movie, the Navy movie he did, where the, that's not so good? Uh, but you, you, a comedic actor. And then when you see him in this, and you're like, oh, my God, he's, I mean, we were just saying off here, Shakespearean, right? Shakespearean. I mean, The Boss is a Shakespearean drama set in the modern world of, of American politics. And... Uh, Kelsey is phenomenal. And they did, you know, they, they understood the mountain that they had to climb because mm. obviously there's such a strong association with him. So they start off the first season with just a shot of Kelsey learning about the disease. And you're able to, it's, it's very smart filmmaking because you're able to take him in and accept him as a different person almost immediately. And then, of course, five minutes into the show when he's ripping somebody's ear off, you realize Frazier is dead and gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's long, right. Long live Kane. Yeah, yeah, and he's and he's and it's a, and uh, Mayor Kane, as he plays, is this uh, deeply conflicted. And the backstory is, you know, it's unclear to us, and we're just learning as it's, as the, the story's unfolding before us. What's going on? He's, you know, uh, ver- like Chicago. He's the scion of another great, you know, sh- Chicago politician, and th- they're hiding some. In, he's hiding a personal secret. They're hiding family secrets. They're hiding business secrets. And guys' ears are getting ripped off. As he pointed out, he's Tony Soprano, and in in a but but in a business suit in a very sophisticated way. Would you, is that a fair way of saying it? it uh, yeah, mixed in with probably a little King Lear. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. and he, uh, you know, the show is essentially about power. It's about a lot of things, but it's about our relationship to power and and uh what we do to attain it and once we have it how do you hold on to it um and you know at the beginning of the first season kelsey mayor kane who is the emperor of his domain learns that he has a degenerative uh brain disease and he's going to start uh uh, having hallucinations and and deformities and so it's about this sort of powerful man at the top of his kingdom, who gets brought down to onto his knees by powers above him, and like twenty four, you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know when it's going to happen. Yeah. So in the second season, we're sort of dealing with with uh, can he find redemption, um, and this man being sort of eaten by the demons that he's created through his through his life. And it's going to happen though in these sorts of series where. Uh, the writers and producers, they don't really know because they only get a one-season commitment, so they create a story arc that, that will take you and complete the circle so you can sell the box set. Right. And this, by the way, I would suggest for people to run out and buy this box set. If I don't you know, know if it's released yet. I think soon. season one soon. Okay. Uh, Showtime. Excuse me, it's coming out. Uh, is, uh, yeah. And so, the but if you don't have Showtime, no, get No, Stars. It. So, I'm sorry, Stars. Get it. 
and get uh, the uh, and 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 when the box comes out, if you don't have stars, go get it on pay per view. However, however you do these things, and there's well, a million yeah. ways Hold to on. do it. If you have stars right now, they're doing uh, an on demand right. of uh, of the whole season, and it'll take you uh, a weekend. And I, and I preface that because once you start the first one, you're going to go in four hour batches. I mean, say goodbye you, to right. any home. That's how I did have. it. You know, I, I, I watched. I, you know, I like doing that. A lot of people are doing that yeah. now because if you really get into a show, I don't want to wait that whole damn week for it. Exactly. So I watched them in batches of four. And season one will be out on DVD July 24th. But as Troy mentioned, you could do it on demand right now on Stars. I know those folks at Stars. I did yeah, you, you stuff did work for Stars. Good, and I'm sorry. Good folks. Good and, folks. And, and, and you know, it, it's a, it is a this, this ongoing uh, battle with uh, Showtime and HBO and Stars and Reels to come up with these series. And most of the times now, it's either about vampires or naked ancient people who have breast implants, even though they didn't have breast implants <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> and I like all those sure? shows, but I'm a much bigger fan of the shows that are grounded in you know in the real world, and Troy's character Sam Miller is kind of interesting too because you at the beginning of this you know the series were going okay this is the guy that's going to be our conscience he's the guy that is pure and believes in the truth but then as the season goes on well maybe he can be seduced by a little bit of power and a little bit of prestige and a little bit of a promotion as well well the problem is is once you start falling victim to the uh, you know to the philosophy as uh, uh, the 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 ends justify the means and mm. you. You have consequences that you have to pay for. And uh, Sam Miller is definitely paying for them. Uh, and, you know, uh, when I read the script, because I am essentially on paper the good guy, I thought, right. you know, I I'm going to be the hero of this show. And then you, I forgot whose show it is. It's Kelsey's. Mm. And people actually look at me as the bad guy, although I'm doing the right things. Right. I mean, there's some gray areas. That's true. Some that's, that's an interesting areas. point. Yeah. Well, and I and and <laughs> I and there's some uh, unbelievable. By the way, and if you're thinking, well, I'm not really interested in a procedural political show, some of the wildest sex I've ever seen in a television show. Well, it, yes, yes, yeah, it, it, it's cable. Yeah, so, I'm actually going on one of those tours. You know how people like to go to location shots. I'm just trying to talk my girlfriend into like, huh. hey, right here, I know that hotel in that <laughs> in that stairwell. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, that's there. Yeah, and there's but, a lot of standing up sex, which, by the way, I've always found to be very uncomfortable and almost unwieldy. But it is, uh, it is. But there was. It's unbelievable how uh, how you know just. Complete and pro it, what a what a great piece of entertainment it is. And it's also enlightening as a Chicago one. But but, but Troy, stay with us for one second here. Of I got to stop for a quick break. But then uh, you are Jane Fonda's son. Yes, and Jane Fonda was on with us uh, a couple of weeks ago talking about her book. Mm -hmm. And may prime I, time, prime time. And may I share what you said about the book? Sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. Stay here. Hold on, because it's a it's a it's a book about growing older and sex and it's stuff about, like that. It's about senior sexuality. Yeah. What every kid loves to hear about. <laughs> yes, exactly. Stay right here. <laughs> Roe and Roper. Afternoons, 2 to 6, 89. WLS. Troy Garrity is in the studio with us. One of the stars of the, st of the Stars series, Boss, which is just the best thing ever on television about Chicago politics, bar none. Because it is, it is, it's, it's real but yet dramatic enough to be interesting while being real. And it, it catches the, the flavor, if not the details, of Chicago politics, <laughs> I think is the best way to say it. But, but Troy, now, now Troy grew up in a, in, obviously, you're the third generation of a very successful acting family as, as Jane Fonda's daughter also. And, but, but son, you, son. Son, I'm sorry. But you're, but you're, but you're, thank you. <laughs> but you're, but right, you're, that's a correction that needed to be made. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some will let go, but this yeah, one we have yeah, to. Yeah. Sorry about that. But you're also the son of, a, of Tom Hayden. Chicago right? politics, right, right. there. So yeah. you said some yeah. so some politics along the way. So it's a nice cross section. Now your your mom your mom wrote a book huh. uh, <laughs> called Primetime. Now we had her on last week, two weeks ago, to talk about this a little bit, and um, and I, and you know Rich and I are leafing through it while we're talking to her. And there's a there there's a there there's there's like plates, you know, where they where, <laughs> where they get like diagrams of things you can do. <laughs> And and she's talking about like sexuality in her seventies, and we want to talk about it. And she, she, you know, she treated us like now boys, now boys. Now we, you know, there's more to it than just that. But what, now, have you read the book? No, I I, I haven't intentionally, and I, it, it, 
uh, it's upsetting to her because she worked very hard on it for a long time and, and it's an important book about mm -hmm. aging and, and how to enter your final mm -hmm. act and how to be sexually active as a senior so uh, within that context there's pictures in the book that are very very explicit mm -hmm. yeah oh boy and yeah. I, yeah and I just couldn't read the book <laughs> yeah. with my mom talking about her um, you know how to have an orgasm at 75 and <laughs> And it just, you know, there are diagrams. No, there are actual in diagrams. In your yeah. mom, you know, when your mom is on Twitter tweeting like, <laughs> OMG, this <laughs> penis pump. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's, it's too much for, for any yeah. job. But no, I'm kidding. I'm very proud of her. And I'll get around to reading it when I'm 65. Right, exactly. That's about right. Exactly. She also wrote a beautiful, like, love letter to Chicago. I know she was visiting you here a, a while back and just wrote a beautiful piece on her own website about how much she enjoyed the city. Really she is nice. an avid, avid blogger. And she got a week off with the grandkids and me and my wife played tour guides and, and that's what I'm going to do if my acting career ever fails and uh, <laughs> nice. we took her all over Chicago and it's fantastic excellent okay. alright Troy Garrity the new season just a few weeks away a boss August 17th August yeah, 17th. And catch up with stars. season one on demand now so you'll be so fired up It'll be the perfect time to do Star the marathon and then st boom stars. season one stars on demand you won't put it down oh you can't it is an unbelievable piece of work we hope to see you soon thanks very much for being with anytime. us anytime right, thank thanks, you guys Troy. appreciate right, it before 4 o'clock Jim Johnson's going to get you caught up at the top of the hour. 89.